Hi. Today we're going to make chocolate chip cookies. This recipe is different from your normal chocolate chip cookies because it has less sugar. I find that when you put less sugar in the cookies, they still taste just as sweet. Okay. To get started, we have, of course, our KitchenAid mixer. I like the KitchenAid mixers the best. Because they seem to are very quickly at mixing the butter. So, first we have a cup of butter. And what I like to do is I like to put both in at the same time and I turn it on high speed to cream it. Sometimes it hasn't been softened enough. And so, I'm going to put that in my mixer. And I'm going to turn it up on medium and mix it. And let your kids have some chocolate chips. Okay, so the next thing is the amount of sugar we put in is a half cup of brown sugar and a half cup of white sugar. You want to put that in together and then we'll turn the mixer back on. Like, and let that mix in for a little bit. The other thing that we have are two eggs. I'm not sure we'll put in eggs. consistency. If you can see the dough, pretty consistent to put the eggs in and it will make it more creamier once the eggs get mixed in together. So, go ahead and crack the eggs and drop them in. Okay. Now, put that mix in. Is I have my baking powder, which makes the cookies fluffier, and my salt. And it's a teaspoon of baking powder and a half teaspoon of salt. And I just dump that in white. And I usually put about a cup in at a time and let it mix in. A cup in at a time. Okay. And just for a couple minutes and then. probably have to scrape down my beater and my mixer bowl. Like that. Okay. Alright. Perfect. I like to put, most recipes call for two and a half cups of flour when you do um, the amount of sugar that I did, but I like the extra flour. It actually seems to make the cookies a little, also a little bit fluffier, 
and not as sticky, which I think makes a better cookie, especially at the size that you're going to make the cookie. we get all this flour. Not much of it stuck to the sides. Most kitchen eggs make it so that not much of the flour actually sticks to the sides. I've had this kitchen egg for a number of years so it's kind of a little beat up but it still works really well. I probably could use a few new beaters but some of the paint coming off a little bit. So I'm going to mix a little more before I put in the chocolate chips. Just noticing I got some flour stuck to the bottom of my cookie pan. So I'm going to kind of try to get that flour up. Sometimes that happens. And it goes a little floury. And you might want it, which is fine. You turn it up on a higher speed to get that excess flour off. And voila, the excess flour is gone. Now I have perfectly mixed cookies. You can see here the consistency of the cookie. Like it's so cookie dough, you just pick it up and it's not going to stick to my hand. Sometimes you have cookie dough that's just way too runny. And that's why I enjoy putting in the extra flour. Usually a half cup. I do the three cups instead of a... F I know some people I know do like a full one cup, but I always think that makes the cookie... Especially if you're doing less sugar, it takes a little too much flour. So last we have only one cup of chocolate chips. A lot of recipes will call for the whole bag of chocolate chips. And I find that there are too much chocolate chips in them. And then when you eat them, you just chocolate all over your hands. But with only a cup of chocolate chips, it works much better. And these are milk chocolate. Sometimes it gives them a little sweeter taste. And that's why less sugar is even better. Um, for this recipe with the milk chocolate. So I'm dump that in. And then I don't have to mix chocolate chips in for very long. Alright, now it's time to do our cookie pan. That makes do a tablespoonful of dough. I do about this, roll it in a little ball, and then I just stick it here on my pan. This is a non-stick pan, so I don't need a spray, and it makes the perfect size cookie. Now, if you wanted to do a bigger cookie, you do twice the size, like this. They kind of make bigger cookies are good for parties, I think. So, but these are just for my kids, so they are much smaller. Yeah. There they are. make them even so that they cook them, they will cook even. 
And you see how there's just plenty of chocolate chips in each cookie. So you really don't need two cups. And I put about, I put 12 on the pan. That way when they cook, they don't cook together. The point to try. And then we stick them in the oven. Right down here. For eight minutes at 375. And then we're going to see what they look like in eight minutes.